The Akron Zips took the field on Saturday, September 21st against the Troy Trojans. Akron came into the game 0-3 on the season and were looking for their first win of the season against an out-of-conference opponent. Troy entered the game 1-1, splitting their first two games against Campbell in Southern Mississippi. All eyes were on Akron head coach Tom Arth as he and the Zips seemed to struggle in the first three weeks. It was a hot one with temperatures reaching close to 100 degrees on the field before kickoff. Troy started the game strong on offense and drove down the field with ease. Their drive was capped off by a touchdown pass to A.J. Lewis from Caleb Barker. Cato Nelson exited the game after a minor injury and backup Robbie Kelly entered for one drive that resulted in a bobbled snap. The ball rolled into the backfield and was recovered by Troy. However, Akron would force a turnover of their own shortly after as Barker gets flushed out to his right and forces a pass that was intercepted by Sean Featherstone in the end zone. Featherstone returned the ball out to the 40-yard line as the sideline went ballistic. He was given the turnover pencil, a tradition started this year for the Akron Zips. If a player gets a turnover, they hold on to the extra size pencil and celebrate. This not only boosts the player's morale, but hypes up the crowd as well. This seemed to be the spark Akron needed after they gave up the ball on the previous drive, and surely it was. Cato Nelson entered back into the game and delivered a strike to Jeremiah Knight for a 41-yard gain. Nelson capped off the drive with a bullet over the middle to the best-named player on the team, Maverick Wolfley, to tie up the game 7-7. Troy would drive all the way down the field on their next drive and would get to the end zone again, this time with Barker connecting with wide receiver Khalil McLean for a quick slant touchdown. Akron's next drive would be filled with some controversy as Nelson connects with wide receiver Nate Stewart at the top of the screen, but at the bottom of the screen. Number 17 Julian Hicks would get into a shoving match with two Troy defensive backs. The skirmish escalated and Hicks would throw a punch, ultimately getting him ejected from the game. The Zips responded positively though with Cato Nelson throwing another bullet over the middle, this time to Nate Stewart for a 24-yard gain. Akron would punt later that drive. Troy found themselves in the red zone again, as this time Caleb Barker would take it himself on a QB draw and barrel his way into the end zone for another Troy score, making it 21-7. A DK Billingsley one-yard rushing touchdown would be the dagger in this game, and Troy would go on to score one more time before the end of it, making the final score 35-7. The 35-7 loss to Troy drops Akron's record to 0-4 on the season as they hope to rebound next week at UMass. The only touchdown of the day was a pass from Cato Nelson to Maverick Wolfley for the zip score early in the game. They failed to come back after that, and the offense really struggled down the stretch as the Zips used three quarterbacks in today's game. Troy played a good game defensively and on special teams, but the Zips will definitely have to get things forward as they head off into the rest of the season. With ZTV Sports, I'm John Alfieri. Now, back to you in studio.